Good morning, welcome to Feathers and Fur. So this morning I thought I would make us a video all about barn owls. Now let me introduce you to the main star of the show, Bailey. Bailey, ready? Ready? There he is. Now Bailey is our five-year-old male barn owl. We can tell he's a male because he has this beautiful pure white chest. If he was a female, he'd have little speckles all across his chest. And he's what's known as an imprint owl. So we've had Bailey since he was a baby and he's grown up in the house and has gotten used to being around people and dogs and strangers and push chairs, anything that you think that he might be nervous of, we try to get them used to as a baby. Now I'm gonna be flying him backwards and forwards to the glove, so I'm gonna wander back to the perch. Now barn owls are one of our most popular birds at the Falconry Centre, so much so that we have three of them. We have two British barn owls, which are these beautiful white ones, and a European one, which is a lovely dark breasted barn owl. Now in Britain, barn owls I think are one of those sort of most loved owls. We have five species of owl in the UK. We have barn owls, tawny owls, little owls, long-eared owls and short-eared owls. And actually most people, when they think about owl, it would be the barn owl that we would imagine. Now typically, you might know you've got a barn owl because you see them. The, most people hear an owl, which is that typical twitter woo. Barn owls actually scream like the undead. But you would see barn owls. They're a very open grassland bird and they're one of our most adapted predators that we have. So out in that open grassland, his main food is small mammals. Mice, voles and shrews make up 80% of his food. And he's hunting at crepuscular, which means dusk and dawn. So crepuscular through into the night. So animals that hunt at night time are called nocturnal. Dusk and dawn is crepuscular. And these guys excel at both. Now, how do you find a mouse? hiding in the long grass because mice aren't standing out in the open they're looking for that really lovely rough grassland a typical example of that would be somewhere like a golf course the roughs side of motorways or around the edge of fields those beautiful field margins those are perfect places for the small mammals let's put Bailey back over here then fly backwards and forwards they do something called quartering they have a very low loading body this means that they have a big wingspan and a small body when Bailey comes in to fly see how wide his wingspan is compared to the size of his body so this low loading body allows us to well allows him to fly backwards and forwards wasting very little energy now as he's flying don't get me wrong, he's got brilliant eyesight. He is looking for movement in the grass, but where the barn owl specializes is the hearing. Now, where are his ears? This is a big question. We ask this at a lot of schools we go to. Where are barn owl's ears? You can actually see them straight away. Not helpful when Bailey turns his back to you. Let me come in and bring him around. is that lovely heart-shaped dish on the front of his face. His ear holes are located on the side of his head. His right one is slightly higher than his left one. That's the bit you can stick your finger in. Bailey, ready? But then, let's give him his food so he stands up, that's it. Can you see that lovely dish around the outside that makes a beautiful love heart shape? That is his earlug. So the ear holes are where the sound goes to, but his facial dish is how he collects the sound. So he's got this lovely thick ridge around the edge, which he can actually move. As he's flying, he can pull it forward and focus the sound, really focus the channel that the sound comes into. Then you can see he's got a sort of big Roman nose through the middle, and that's all feather. So what happens is the sound comes in, splits down the middle, hits each ear at a fraction of a difference in time and he's able to bop his head around and figure out exactly where on the ground his food is. Come here back, baby. Now flying back 
backwards and forwards over that field trying to listen has one drawback if you make a noise with your feathers his hearing is so good that if he was any other bird he would actually be able to hear himself flying but this is where the barn owl excels the barn owl has developed its body to become completely silent now it's probably quite hard for you to tell because there's a lot of bird song going on and a few cars but if we're totally quiet as he comes in Bailey. So by so we didn't even see him. He's totally silent. Now he's done this in three different ways. The first one is that he has this enormous bouffant of feathers. Look at it. It's just huge, big bouffant hairdo of feathers. Second way is his feather structure is slightly different. He has this amazing, it's not so easy to tell. You might be able to see it just here. This fringing on his feathers. His feathers have this sort of comb effect on the edge of them, which means that the air doesn't cut down the feather, it passes slowly over the feather and comes out nice and quiet. The third way, and this one's actually probably the most important, is that he has taken off the waterproofing oils from his feathers. Now this, let me put him back here. So This is actually one of those amazing benefits to hunting by hearing, but really bad negatives. With no waterproofing oil on a barn owl's feathers, it means they cannot hunt in the rain. Bailey, ready? Ready? Now, not only does it mean he can't hunt in the rain, he can't actually sit out in the rain. So these guys, they do have to sit inside something all the time. And that brings us to the whole um, conservation of barn owls and how come they can survive some years, some years are great, some years are bad. Now, the barn owl is currently a green listed species, which means it is a least concern according to the RSPB, but this is always just a very fluid placement. Some years are brilliant for barn owls and some years are really bad. And those reasons are often down to the weather. Bailey, your head keeps getting in the way. <laughs> if we get a really wet year, wet and windy and blowy, it means barn owls really struggle to get out and go hunting. If we go to the extreme of that, we get that um, the sort of flooding in fields. Barn owls are so fussy that if they can't eat mice, voles and shrews, they may adapt to birds, but they definitely wouldn't go for things like slugs. They are far too posh to eat a slug. So if there's no mice, voles and shrews, barn owl numbers will do really poorly. If they can't get out to hunt, they will start to decline. So there's been some massive conservation projects for the barn owl, and, and I do feel we have very heavily weighted our owl conservation for the barn owl. There have been lots of barn owl box projects, putting up barn owl boxes, lots of leaving areas of grassland to go wild and rough, which is perfect for the small mammals. That is brilliant in itself because it helps lots of other birds like the kestrel, for instance. So the barn owls are doing brilliantly in the UK at the moment, but it is always a very fluid thing. But what can you do to help the barn owl? So the first one is just watching this video. For me personally, and for us here at the centre, we feel that if you understand something and know about something, you are going to love it even more. So hopefully having learnt a little bit about barn owls and meeting Bailey, I mean, how can you not love Bailey? then you will be able to see and appreciate and know how to save things. If, you, if you're in love with something, you know you want to save it and you will learn how to do it. Secondly, not being so tidy. These guys, they need, like we said, they need that rough grassland. So maybe leaving areas around plane parks, leaving roadside verges to be nice and rough. They're perfect things for a barn owl. other thing is spotting barn owl boxes so I want you to come with me for a second and just have a quick look at our barn owl box so if we have this this comes from one of our friends the Bisson boxes and they're fabulous look at the size of this box it's enormous it's got a really big hole at the top and an opening at the bottom for you to be able to check the birds now you can't just go and check you actually have to have a license to be able to go anywhere near a barn owl box 
But if you see one of these, maybe if you are walking in a woodland or walking around a local park, you might see one of these and you will know then that the whole area is working towards helping barn owls. So keep your eyes open, look up in those trees and see if you can see a great big square box. They might also be triangle, lots of the boxes are also a triangle but these are fantastic putting up these barn owl boxes if you live somewhere maybe you have a farm or maybe you have a big playing field near you you might look at getting one of these and putting it up in the tree to help all right let's spin around see if we can get bailey to come there he is are you ready babes oh he's such a good boy <laughs> okay. now i hope you've enjoyed our little video about barn owls I've enjoyed making it for you. I think Bailey's definitely enjoyed having his dinner. Remember, we are still here at the Falconry Centre. We're still working every day. And if anybody wants to do anything to support us, we're not actually asking for donations, but for us, it's about keeping us going in terms of booking vouchers, maybe buy a voucher as a gift for the future, or just even plan to come and visit us when we can reopen back to the public. Come back and see us, come back and visit us. So let's get one more flight from Bailey. Ready? Wait. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right guys, thanks very much for watching and we'll hopefully see you very soon. Bye. So hopefully you've enjoyed watching our video. I thought I would just make a quick after video in case you wonder how on earth we did it. <laughs> Olivia is wearing my iPhone with my running belt, some elastic bands and a barn owl. <laughs> Who called us professional? <laughs>